amazing job on this show. It is probably the most bingeable Marvel uh, Disney Plus show I've seen in a long time. The courtroom element, the comedy and the action are top notch. Can you talk to me about balancing all that together? It's a lot. I mean, the biggest challenge of the series is balancing the small comedic details with you know, the visual spectacular that Marvel fans have come to expect. And, you know, the two really do work in opposition to each other in a lot of ways. CGI, action, stunts, and cinematic scope require rigidity and intense preparation, whereas comedy is all about letting actors get loose and improvising and having fun. And so it was really about breaking it down and going, where do we go big and where do we go small? Right, right. Now, speaking of the CGI, the CGI looks great on this. I mean, I love the way She-Hulk looks, Abomination, the Hulk, obviously. Um, with, uh, with that being said, is there anything with the characters in appearance that may have changed uh, early on um, in appearance-wise for the show? I mean, developing the look of She-Hulk was a month-long process. Right. And we really discussed um, strength more than aesthetics. And the, the big challenge was the Hulk is this monster. He doesn't fit into the human world. Right. He is an outlier. She is a modern woman who goes on dates, works in an office, has friends, has dinner with her family. So we had to make sure she was human proportions. We actually had an actress, a stand-in, who was six foot seven with us at all times. And we would ask her to walk across the room so we could see what her stride was. And um, we, we leaned on her a lot. In terms of musculature, we wanted to create her own look as opposed to just being a mini version of He-Hulk. We, you know, based her on Olympian athletes and Misty Copeland and right. these women who stand in incredible power but aren't necessarily bodybuilders. Sure, that's amazing. I didn't know that. So that's one thing I was going to ask you with the difference between shooting a, a, a seven foot, six foot seven uh, She-Hulk and Tatiana. But that's crazy. So you guys used the stand in to kind of track that a little bit to see how that would look. Yeah, we used her as a reference all the time. And what was surprising and gratifying is six foot seven is big, yeah. but it's still very human. There right. are a lot of humans who are six foot seven. And so she never feels too big for this very grounded real world. You know, one thing I also love about this show, too, is that this is, feels like the in-between moment, moments of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which I absolutely love. We're talking about, like, dating profiles and things like that. And Tatiana does such a great job of uh, getting that across. What did Tatiana bring to the role of, uh, of Jen that wasn't on the page? Oh, I, that question is so hard to answer because Tatiana brings whole worlds with her. She is one, one of the few actresses, I think, who can explore the entire range of the human experience. Right. And so she, she just made everything pop. I think uh, a lot of people were surprised by how funny she can be. Um, I was never surprised because I think when an actor engages and listens the way she does, comedy is an organic next step. Um, she, it was her suggestion to have Steve Rogers as the screensaver. Oh. And so that's a Tatiana original. By the way, those stingers in the show are hilarious. And you go pretty far with that that first one in episode one about Captain America. Uh, by the way, is that canon now, this Captain America uh, Stinger? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> you, you think Hulk would be lying about something that important? Uh, obviously not. <laughs> obviously not. Uh, speaking of the Hulk, I want to talk about Mark Ruffalo for a second because he's fantastic in this and he's been playing this role for over 10 years. Um, can you talk to me about what surprised you about Mark's performance as, as he embodies the Hulk and Bruce Banner? What surprised me so much about Mark is that he has been playing this character for a decade, but he came onto the set as if it was the first time encountering this character. And he understood that we were playing with a new genre and a new tone. And he really wanted to know how the Hulk fit into this new genre. And he was so in awe of Tatiana. I think what makes him the iconic performer that he is, is that he is so open to new experiences and he approaches everything with fresh eyes. And yeah, Mark is just a delight. And the chemistry between Mark and Tatiana together was a marvel to behold. <laughs> well, that's incredible. Look, I love this show. I can't wait for the rest of the world to see it. And I can't wait to, to just finish it and binge it myself. So thank you so much for your time. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you.